This video explains how to handle the error message error in solve default system is exactly singular in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example matrix, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new matrix object called mymat1 is appearing at the top right. And in line three of the code, we can print our matrix to the RStudio console. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom that our example matrix contains two rows and two columns. However, you can also see that all of the values in the data cells of this matrix are equal to the value one. So if you now try to apply the solve function to this matrix, as you can see in line five of the code, the error message error in solve default LAPAC routine DGESV system is exactly singular is returned. And the reason for that is that we are not able to solve an exactly singular matrix as in our case. So if we want to make the solve function work properly, we need to create another matrix, as you can see in line seven of the code. So in this line of code, I'm creating a matrix called mymat2, and we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that we have created another matrix that also contains two rows and two columns. However, this time, all the values in our matrix are different. And then if we apply the solve function once again to this matrix, as you can see in line 10 of the code, then you can see that no error messages are returned anymore. And if we print our output of the solve function by running line 11 of the code, you can see that we have created a valid output of the solve function. So always when you face this error message, make sure to check your matrix if the values in the matrix are correct. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.